it says find the slope of the line that passes through the given points. So when you are given a graph, like on this example right here, you are going to use rise over run for slope. Remember, M stands for slope. So your slope will be equal to your rise, which is how much you go up and down, over the run, which is how much you go left to right. If you go, let me write this over here. If you go up, that's positive. Right is positive. Down is negative, And left is negative. So let's try and find the slope of this line right here. So for my slope, we're going to find the rise over the run. So to go from this point to this point, I am going to fall one, two places. So if I go down two, my rise is negative two. And then I'm going to run one, two, whoops, one, two, three, four. Going to the right four is a positive four. So my slope is negative two divided by four. I can reduce this. Here, both of these are divisible by two. So my slope is going to be negative one half. You always want to reduce when you can. Go ahead and try to find the slope of this line down here. So pause the video and find the slope using rise over run. So if I want to find my rise over my run between this point here and this point here, I'm going to rise one, two. If I go up two, that's a positive two for my rise. And I'm going to run one, two. So if I'm going to the right two, that's a positive two for my run. Well, I can reduce that. Two divided by two is one. So the slope of this line is one. For our next example, we are given two ordered pairs. When you are given two ordered pairs, you're going to use the slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The first thing I like to do every single time I'm given two points and I need to find their slope is I label my points. This is x1, y1, x2, y2. So I'm going to go ahead and plug those into my slope formula. So I'm just writing my minuses. These minuses come from this formula. And let's see. y2 is 13 minus y1 is 7 over x2 is 4 minus x1 is 2. 13 minus 7 is 6. 4 minus 2 is 2. So right now my slope is 6 divided by 2. I can reduce that. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So the slope of this one is 3. Let's try that again with the next one. First thing I like to do is label my points. x1, y1, x2, y2. I'm going to go ahead and set up my formula with my minuses. y2 is 8 minus y1 is negative 3. So look here. This minus sign came from the formula. This minus sign came from the number. And then in my denominator, x2 is 8 minus x1 is 0. Whenever you have a negative times negative, that gives you a positive. So this is really like 8 plus 3. 8 
plus 3 is 11. 2 minus 0 is 2. My slope is 11 over 2. I cannot reduce this. There is no need to make this a decimal or to change it into a mixed number. In algebra, we love improper fractions. So you can leave your answer just like this as 11 over 2. Again, do not make more work for yourself. Do not make this a mixed number. Do not make this a decimal. Improper fractions are wonderful. Go ahead and pause this video and try these two examples here. So with this next one, again, I'm going to label my points. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So I'm going to set up my formula. Y2 is negative 4 minus Y1, which is 1, over X2 is 3 minus X1 is 1. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. 3 minus 1 is 2. So my slope is negative 5 halves. With the next example, I'm going to do the same thing. x1, y1, x2, y2. So my slope is going to be y2 is negative 2 minus y1 is negative 5 over x2 is negative 1 minus x1 is 4. Here I have a negative times a negative. A negative times a negative is a positive. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. So my slope is 3 over negative 5. The last way that we can find slope is from a table. And the formula for that is m equals delta y over delta x. This triangle is the word delta. And all delta means is change in. So the change in y over the change in x. So to do that, we're just going to look at each of these here. And we're going to see how we go from one number to the next. So I'm going to do my y's first because y's are on top. So, actually, let me move that. So how do I go from 8 to 11? Well, 8 plus 3 is 11. How do I go from 11 to 14? Well, 11 plus 3 is 14. How do I go from 14 to 17? Well, 14 plus 3 is 17. So my change in y is 3. Now I got to figure out my change in x. To go from 0 to 1, I add 1. From 1 to 2, I add 1. And from 2 to 3, I add 1. So my slope is 3 over 1, which is 3. You do have to check every 1 here because if the pattern is different, then it may not be linear. And if it's not linear, meaning it's not a line, then we can't find the slope of that because it wouldn't be um, a constant slope. And so it would be varied between the different things. And so we always want to make sure our slope is constant, meaning it's the same every time. Because if it is, then it's a line. And we'll talk about that more later in the year. So let's try this again with example, with this next example. So to go from 10 to 9, I subtract 1. 9 to 8, I subtract 1. And 8 to 7, I subtract 1. So my change in y is negative 1. To go from negative 4 to negative 3, I add 1. Negative 3 to negative 2, I add 1. And negative 2 to negative 1, I add 1. So my change in x is positive 1. Negative 1 divided by positive 1 is negative 1. 
So that is my slope. Let's look at the next one. Well, why don't you go ahead and pause the video and try these last two and then meet back up with me to see what you get. So on this example, to go from 21 to 22, I'll add 1, 22 to 23, I'll add 1, and 23 to 24, I'll add 1. Over here for my x's, to go from negative 2 to 0, I add 2, 0 to 2, I add 2, and from 2 to 4, I add 2. So my change in y is 1, and my change in x is 2. So my slope is 1 half. Let's look at the last one. To go from five to five, I add zero. From five to five, I add zero. And from five to five, I add zero. To go from zero to one, I add one. One to two, I add one. And two to three, I add one. So my change in Y is zero, and my change in X is one. Well, zero divided by one is zero. When your slope is zero, that is when you have a horizontal line. So if we were to look at the graph of this one, we would have a line going straight across like this.